Robert fix it, you must install Windows 11 on all the old devices. What are the requirements? There are no requirements. This is Windows 11 Lite. Let's do it. Hey guys, Robert Fixit here, and today is a good day because this is the day that I've been waiting for for a very long time. Windows 11 that can actually run on old hardware. And I don't really pay a lot of attention to Windows 11 because I don't even have a computer that can run Windows 11. If you look at my videos, they're basically old computers that I fix up. I don't have new stuff. I, I did have a Windows 11 computer last year, but I sold it to buy more older computers to flip and do all so, sorts of other things. And I, I wasn't really too much of a fan of Windows 11 with the weird start menu and stuff, but it, it has since changed. Anyway, so there's been this big debate about Windows 11 being not popular Everybody wants to stay with Windows 10. Windows 10 runs on anything. Windows 10 for gaming. People don't want to buy a whole new computer to run Windows 11. And in the back of my mind, I kept saying, there's gonna have to be a Windows 11 small version. And I, I don't really post or make videos about this because it's just my, it was my theory. It wasn't like I knew it was going to happen. Just based on my experience with Windows after, you know, years and years and years of working with Microsoft, there, there has to be some other kind of way. You can't just cut, you just can't cut everybody off, right? And then they announced the end of support for Windows 10, October 25, which is going to be in a, in a year plus from now. And, and I just kept thinking, you can't make the whole entire world buy a new computer. That's what I thought at first, but I was like, there's not, there's got to be a way. There's got to be some kind of compromise. And then I, I actually... I commented actually recently this just this past month, I think on some videos where people were just going on and on about how they can't run Windows 11 on their old computer. And my, my comments were basically saying, I think that they should make a, a lighter version of Windows 11. That's basically Windows 10, but looks like Windows 11 with some updates and stuff and allow people to have Windows 11 on their old computers. That was number one. Number two was, I was saying that they might make it subscription-based, which people hate. But um, anyway, so I've not been paying attention. I've been working and doing other things. They did make a Windows 11 Lite, or I'm sorry, LTSC is the Windows 11 for old systems. For example, like a hospital or something where you can't just change the whole computer system. You have to, you have to run Windows 11, but you can't just replace all the hardware. Otherwise everything would just break. So they, apparently they were working on this. I didn't know. And, uh, it came out, I guess, in March. It was leaked, and people made a few videos about it in April, and I just found out about it today. And I was thinking, yes, yes, finally, this is, this is the thing that I was talking about. So now you can install the official Windows 11 LTSC, which I will refer to as Lite from now on. I call it Windows 11 Lite because... There's no stuff in it. It's just Windows. That's it. There's no Spotify, Xbox, whatever. So there's a link below. I'm not going to install it on this video, but I'm just going to talk about it and see what I think. So click on the link below 
and then uh, there's a few more comments I want to make about it. All you have to do is go to Microsoft, click on the link, download the ISO, make a bootable flash drive, and you can install this supposedly on anything. The minimum requirements, it says, it still has the recommended requirements, but then everything's optional. So now you can do a dual core CPU, four gigabytes of memory, a standard hard drive is allowed. You don't need TPM. You don't need secure boot. You don't need anything. So now, at least for the next three months, you can install Windows on a potato, right? And why would you want to do that when, as we've already seen, you can install Windows 11 on old computers with a couple of hacks and stuff like that? The reason why you want to do it is because this is a version of Windows that's going to come out later this year. So the sooner you learn about it and figure out what works and what doesn't, you need to know if you're going to be selling systems and recommending this to others. I'm kind of wondering if maybe this will be more expensive than the regular Windows because it does work on older systems. And... Microsoft could easily say, well, this one's going to cost you a little bit more than the regular version since you don't have to buy a whole new computer. So I could see that happening. And then also, again, in the installation choices, there is a, a subscription version of it. So we don't know what that means yet. But it's fun. For the next three months, this is now June till September. You can install Windows on anything. Install, install, install. We have no idea what's going to happen after the 90 days. It'll let you use it without a key. And it does ask for a key. But which key works? Does a regular Windows 11 key work? Or does it have to be an enterprise key? That's a good question. And then also, when you get to the Microsoft login part, it will ask you for the Microsoft login, but if you click on the bottom option, you can say domain login, and then just put in a name and a password, and it'll bypass the whole Microsoft account login thing. And I think this is good because you can, if you're selling a computer, you can put on this kind of not real Windows 11 on there to test it and then just actually sell the Windows 11 separately, maybe, I don't know. That way you don't have to buy a license for each computer you're just trying to test out. And so you could potentially, you know, get a couple old systems, make them better, put in an SSD or whatever, and put Windows 11 on it and just see how it runs. It's the, the whole point of this is it's 90 days to evaluate report to Microsoft if you want to. And then I guess at the end of the year, they're going to make whatever it is that they, they make. I, I really hope that they make some sort of Windows 11 kind of SE. It's like a, you know, like iPhones, you had the iPhone and then you had the iPhone Pro or Max or iPhone Plus. Back in the day, like iPhone 8, you had the iPhone, iPhone 8 Plus, and then they came out with the iPhone SE. And the iPhone SE was just kind of like a, a little iPhone for people that couldn't afford the, the big iPhone. So if they could make a Windows 11 kind of light, I keep calling it light because I want to call it that, or Windows 11 SE or whatever, and then you have the regular Windows 11, and then you have the Windows 11 Plus, which includes all the extra fleet, you know, the stuff. Also, the cool part about this version of Windows is there's no Copilot. There's no extra floatware, whatever bloatware. There's, no, there's nothing. It's just Windows. And I'm pretty sure that people... Not a lot of people are using it, I guess, yet. I, I haven't only seen a few videos about it, but once more people start downloading it, I think 
this could be something you just throw on a system. Just put that on every system. If somebody wants to buy Windows 11 later, fine. But you, it's just something you can just put on there. It's free. You don't have to do any hacks or anything to make it work. It's kind of perfect, and uh, hopefully there's going to be a lot more excitement about it in the future. But um, that's something that I've been waiting for. So I might do an installation video. I have to find a good old computer to put it on. I have a few. I didn't want to put it in this because it's just kind of boring watching Windows 11 install. And I, I watched a couple of other people do it, and you're just kind of sitting there waiting for it to install. We know it's going to install. I mean, we, there's no reason to watch it. We know it's going to happen. Also, the other good part, so this is 24H2. So this is the latest Windows. Most people don't even have 24H2 yet on their system at home. And so I guess the people were saying they waited until they got the most stable version of Windows to release this, this version because you don't want it to keep updating. If you had a computer in an office or a hospital or a police department or something, you can't have the computer updating every week like it does for us at home. It has to be one version, that's it, you're done. And supposedly it's stable for a year. You don't have to update it. It's just, that's it. It's like the final version. So I like that. I just, uh, I would like to know which key was required. How much is it going to actually cost? Will it be $100 or $140 like it is on actual Microsoft website? Or can those, you know, the $20 keys you buy online from those websites, do those work? Can You probably can't use a Windows 10 key at this point, but I'll try. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you think. Um, I'm just going to still keep referring to this as Windows 11 Lite because I like that name or Windows 11 SE or something else other than TLS, you know, the, the actual name of it. All right, so we'll see you next time. And uh, if you've installed it and run into any issues, please comment below. The link to the ISO is down below, and we'll see you soon.